access services. Well, of course they are. Exactly. This is the one place that if, if you could camp out, this is the place to do it. Exactly. You've got to get there in time. If you don't get there in time, they say, sorry, not today. I guess, I don't know. They got fencing up already. Maybe. Yep. That little bitch in the trash truck is waving at me. <clears throat> so I gotta remember, I'm on Stout. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Denver has decided to continue their sweeping efforts into the weekend now. Uh, this apparently is going to be what's going to go on for the foreseeable future. And. The location is uh, 22nd and Stout, if anyone's curious. This is the Colorado Coalition for the Homeless right here. So there are naturally all kinds of people here trying to access services. And they've already threatened to tow an RV this morning. That's Ralph, notorious Ralph, Predator oh, Ralph. Oh, you've seen where the RV is. Right here? Yeah, I did. So the trash truck uh, took off. This is uh, Denver's plan to solve homelessness. Put up fencing, all these planters, all these rocks. It's not working out too good. So everybody's stressing out because they've all been told to, to move. I guess they're leaving. So we got a situation back here with an individual <clears throat> who's already, uh, a tow truck was here to take this RV. So I don't know, he needs a part for his RV. They gonna leave you alone? No, it's over, we gotta go, this shit gotta go, it's over. Ain't no more of us being here. So they're going around the block. See this? <clears throat> this is why they didn't take them right away. Because of the fencing? Because they couldn't get this fencing yep, down? They didn't have. What would happen if an ambulance or something needed to get in here? Well, bolt cutters could take this out. But bolt cutters can't do this. Well, let's assume that there's a medical emergency. And uh, I'm going to start carrying bolt cutters again my car since it's my car now uh we had to get two cars because my wife said i used it too much so we have two cars now i can put bolt cutters in back and uh if, if i could do it pretty quick I yeah but rick out. i would never encourage you to do that you'd go oh, to no, jail i would say it in emergency I, would I still wouldn't encourage that you'd you'd end up you'd end up in handcuffs on that one regardless even if it was yes. an emergency okay. yes well look I would never I'd, encourage I'd you to do that. See, I don't care. I agree. I agree with you. No, I'm not. I mean, I wouldn't do it under any other circumstance. Well, yeah, but I but, wouldn't put it past Denver to hem you up for well, trying to help. Fine. I'd say put it out there and uh, let the world see. Yeah. Let the world see. It's, you yeah. Know, You're brave. Some things you got to do. I appreciate that. Not everything, but something. So I guess they're gone. So apparently this is uh, Denver's new go-to is to uh, sweep around the clock seven days a week. They'll be back. They'll definitely be back.
pop. So this is downtown Denver. Like I said, this is Stout Street in Colorado Coalition for the Homeless. They're fighting. Some of these folks are trying to move. Uh, if anybody's curious, you know, uh, the Denver Nuggets are in the championship game. They have a, a game here tonight. so. The city likes to do this shit when, when they want to attempt to make the city look good. Okay, this girl's going over there with a bat. This is what the city starts. They stress everybody out. Everybody starts fighting. telling her to get the fuck off the block. Not good. Not good. This is what the cops do. They blow everything up and then take off. So, you know... What's that? Oh, that's yeah. You, you know where the, what the problem is with this building? They're what's gonna the problem? They're going to destroy the building. Is that has it been marked to be destroyed or what's? Yeah, up? there's there's guys right now trying to get their stuff out of the building. There's a washer dryer and stuff like that in there, and that building is 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 doomed. The one and, right around the corner. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So they do have to get that RV out. So you're working on a part, possibly, for that, with them? I have to go talk to him. He had, I took a picture of the part. Okay. And I started to check it, because I got a granddaughter who's, oh, thank you, Mark, who's, whose husband okay. is a, um, is, is a junkyard dealer. So oh, gonna, okay. Just, he said, don't worry about that. He can handle a part. He said he can get it in 15 minutes. I don't know how he's planning to do that. Maybe Mark could go with you to talk to him. Well, I don't care. I'll, if I can, if I, I'll just go around there and if I can see them. They're gonna, because they're gonna come back and tow that. I guarantee it. Well, yeah. My my hope is that we can get that part before, because tows take a long time. Yeah, but a lot of what they think is a, a necessary part ends up not being exactly what they needed, and then it doesn't start, and then we're back to square well, what one. What it showed me was a piece of shit. So I, I mean, as far as that goes, it might not be the only thing wrong, but it's definitely wrong. Yeah. And because I know, you were about to take a bat to that girl. Okay, so um, it's okay for her to have my life? Violence is not okay, period. You see, I didn't do anything, right? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I'm here. We're here and to help she you. Start, she started yelling. First. Okay, but we're here to help you. But I don't want people filming. Me. Well, honey, you're in public, and we're filming because the cops okay. were here. Can we're here to help him, you. Please? No, I'm not going to stop. Why? Because you see, you we're in public. Yeah, I do. I do. But it maybe just be best to walk away. It is. It, though, it, it is. She's going to take my dog. I would ignore it if I were you. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I will handle it a different way by calling my dad that is a cop. Okay. And um, you're filming without our um, rights. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's not because my people experience do it. We respect that down here. Yeah, she took a bat and was going to, so I'm not going to stop filming. We're in public, Mark, so don't. No, don't do that. Yeah, we do, because you don't know the situation. I, I don't, don't care. Situation That's why you continue to film. That's why I continue to film. Well, I'm just letting you know. I'm just I, letting you know. We're in public, on, on a public well, sidewalk, we'll and, and there's violence. And there's violence. And there's violence. Reagan, you could get Mark, 20 guys around you Mark, right now taking a bath. Mark, exactly. That's why the camera keeps going. Because don't you come out here and test us. You're provoking it. 
What are you doing? I'm helping people. Really? Yeah. What are you doing right now, the, Mark? I'm trying to keep this safe safe because you don't know the dynamics in this okay, neighborhood. Okay, so maybe not escalate it. You escalate it. Really? Yeah, because Who's yelling at me right now? Because you're telling these people. I was calmly talking to her and I didn't fucking tell her I don't care. Fair I was enough. talking it through Fair with enough. her. Fair enough, you were calm with her. But. Don't you ever do that to me again. Don't you understand you, me? Yeah, right. Don't you fucking ever why, do that. This is Fuck why you. In the Fuck you. In. Good luck. This is why we're in the situation we're in. Right, yeah. Because I came down here to film the yeah, fucking was, cops. Was the yeah, this is another advocate. Yeah. Good job, Mark, you fucking yeah, asshole. Yeah, Reagan, that's your pattern. Yeah. And your pattern is to just fucking coddle the bullshit. Fucking tell me to not film. Fuck you then. Have fun with it, advocates. They love their downtown territorial bullshit. Whoa, but we gotta film. We gotta film. Fuck them. Well, my public service is done for the day. We respect them when they tell us not to film. Hmm. As she's walking across the street with a bat. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop filming. Holy fuck. This is just a never ending fucking shit show. You will follow what the men in the advocacy tell you to do. You will kiss my fucking ass and you can have all of downtown. Have fun with it. <laughs> Telling me this is why we're in the situation we're in. Huh. Wow. Yeah, they can't keep their funding. Well, the problem is um, they don't have any funding. So, you know, advocacy is, um, it's not a for-profit business. And I don't need to be down here on a Saturday morning like this. I don't need to. Uh, I came down here out of my way. I seldom come down here. But the city is being extra super aggressive. So we came down to film it. Notice, um who had the best results today, uh, the city left. But, you know, men just can't quite grasp their egos without telling women what they're going to do. You don't fucking tell me <laughs> when I've got the situation handled. Holy shit. Because they're all too afraid to record is their problem. They all think that they're going to build relationships with the cops. How about it? I'm out. They're going to come back. They're going to tow that RV. I'm the nonprofit that can help. There are several other RVs over here.
All right. Why, why should I have stayed? I'm not going to stay. Oh, snarky user, you're talking about coalition for the homeless. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And what's going on over there is just a complete breakdown. All of the employees are trying to uh, start letting their management know who happens to be Britta Fisher, who used to run Denver's Housing and Sustainability, also known as HOST. Uh, she came over to Coalition and snagged uh, the job as the executive director. So she's running that place into the ground. All of the caseworkers, all of the employees, they're all pissed. They're overworked, uh, piss poor management, um, case overload. You've got all of these people needing case management. There's not enough help. But yeah, they're mostly subsidized by the city. So yeah, you're right there. relentless audits you like me you just wish i did gauge my audience more <laughs> how exactly would you like me to do that <laughs> this saturday morning when the city's down here trying to commit violence and then you've got another advocate telling me to shut my camera off how would you like to become more engaged i got an idea how about you get your ass down here Yeah, I don't know why Mark did that, but they can have at it. They can they can have at it. They don't they don't need help down here. They don't need cameras. They're gonna negotiate with the terrorists. So and that RV is gonna get towed. All right, you guys. Well, honestly, um, yeah, snarky user. Bolt cutters good, camera bad. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go enjoy my Saturday um, and go watch some uh, youth baseball. And you guys all have a good day. Thanks for being in here. Um, there is no link to Amazon. I am, I don't know what who you are, what you're talking about. If you want to donate to the nonprofit, all the ways to do so are in the about section. Um, you all enjoy your weekend. It's a little rainy here, but I'm hoping the the baseball games will still be played, and we'll see you next time. All right? Take care, guys.